Feedback is a reaction or response to something that is done or said. You can get feedback on what you do or say, and you can give feedback to someone else's activities. Feedback can be positive or negative. Today, Deneen needs to give Jamal some feedback on his preparation for a job interview. She's asked him to come to a quiet conference room so that they can focus on what needs to be done. Jamal, thanks for taking the time to talk with me today. It's really important that you be prepared for every job interview. No problem. I did everything that you asked me to. I wrote a resume and cover letter, and I also took the time to research the company as well. Positive feedback is when someone tells you that you did a good job on something. Negative feedback is when someone tells you that you have to improve something or do something differently. It can be hard to listen to negative feedback. That's great. Let's start with your resume, Jamal. You've done a very good job of putting down all the information an employer would want to know about you. But I did see a few things that we need to correct. Like what? I use a spell check just like you told me to. Well, let's start at the top. You use Snoop Lion Dude as your email address on your resume. But I like his music. A lot of people do, but an email address that you use for job and school communication should be more professional. You should consider using something like a combination of your first and your last name. This will also help the employers to keep track of all of their correspondence to you. You are in control over how you receive feedback. If you nod your head in agreement, you're showing the speaker that you are listening. If you cross your arms and frown, the speaker will know that there's an argument brewing. You know, music is a big part of who I am, and I don't see what's wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with liking music, Jamal. But a resume is more than just about what you like. It's about presenting your strengths and why an employer will want to hire you and you need them to read past the top of your resume in order for them to find that out. You also need to correct some spelling errors. But I used the spell check just like you told me to. But the computer isn't smart enough to know what you mean when you write hand, H-A-N-D, and you meant had, H-A-D, or if you write over there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, and you meant there, T-H-E-I-R, the computer isn't smart enough to make that distinction. Great, just great. So you're telling me that I have to take the 20 pages that I just copied, rip them up, and start all over again? Jamal, I know it's frustrating to do the work all over again, but believe me, you'll have a better chance at getting the job if you present the best resume that you can. Negative feedback is constructive criticism. It's a chance to learn to improve something or do something differently. If you were in Jamal's place, what would you have said in response to Deneen's feedback? 